So you started making your game. Everything's going great. You follow optimism and then psh, you get slapped in the face by the cold hard fish of reality, otherwise known as user interface. Well, fear not. This video will show you a dead simple and fast way to handle multiple UI elements in your Unity game. But wait, maybe you're sitting there wondering what the problem is. Oh, my sweet summer child. Well, let me show you. I've set up a simple dummy UI system in nice bright colors and big numbers because I know some of you are a bit slow. These buttons at the side will turn their respective windows on and off. Each window also has some logic on it that toggles its number on and off when I press the spacebar. So let's look at the first problem. Unity's UI system uses an object's position in the hierarchy to determine its sorting order. That means that if a UI element is on top of another UI element, it will always be on top of the other UI element until you shuffle them around in the hierarchy. Secondly, any logic you have on a UI element needs to know if it's allowed to run or not. For example, only closing the active window when the player presses escape or cancel versus closing all of the open windows because they all have that logic on them. So let's fix it. We're going to move fast here because the title of this video made a promise and I hate clickbait. Make an object in your UI that will act as a parent for any UI elements you want to manage with this system. This isn't just an organizational thing. It allows you to position the managed elements as one so that if you have something that you want to be always on top or always underneath of these elements, you can. Next, create a script for handling these UI elements. I'm just gonna call my window. Inside that script, we need a reference to the rec transform of the UI element. We'll grab this in a wake, but we also wanna do a little bit of validation because I just know some of you numpties will put this thing on a regular game object. Now for the magic. Using the onEnable class, we want to make it so that any time this object becomes enabled, it sets itself to be the last child under its parent, making it the one on top. Now change your scripts on your UI element to inherit from this new script. If you don't have a script on any element, you can just drop this script on as it is. And there's the sorting order fixed. But we still have this issue with the logic, so back to the code. Because the lowest item in the hierarchy is always on top, we don't actually have to keep track of which window is in focus. We can just look and see if a given window is the last sibling. Then in our logic script, use this new bool to prevent anything happening that we don't want to happen if the window isn't in focus. Nice. But not perfect. When we deactivate a window that was in focus, it stays in that last slot in the hierarchy, so none of the other windows will be in focus until one of them is enabled. But don't worry, this one's easy as well. When we disable a window, just move it to the back of the UI. And whatever was open last will become the new focused window. And that's it. Dead simple UI management system that only requires one script. And just as a bonus, what's going on in the background right now is me adding the code so that if you click on the UI element, it will bring it to the front because that's also something you might want to do sometimes. But while that's going on, I just want to thank my amazing Patreons, Twitch supporters, Discord Nitro boosters, all the people who support this channel. It was an amazing 2024, and I'm hoping for an even bigger 2025. So yeah, and also, if you didn't see it, I was in the latest Black Thorn Prod video, 100 Devs Make a Game. Go check that out. And also, don't forget to check out the Beings After Dark channel. Okay, that's it. I swear, I'm going now. I'll see you next time.